so many people say that he was the most brilliant man of all time. Uh, the man is Leonardo da Vinci. Now, the da Vinci genius is in Chicago for an extended stay. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Frank Matthey. The Da Vinci Machines exhibition is open now on the third level at Water Tower Place. The man who created the Mona Lisa has been brought to Chicago by brothers Mark and John Rogers. They call Da Vinci the godfather of our civilization. Most people know Da Vinci by the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, but few people know he was one of the most prolific inventors of all time. He had over 44,000 drawings, of which only 14,000 survived. Sketches to make models to help tell the Da Vinci's story. Models like the first flying machine hang glider. These machines were made by third generation artisans in Florence, Italy, directly to the books and the drawings of Leonardo da Vinci's that he would have done 500 years ago. None of the originals exist today, so these recreations give us da Vinci's look at today's automobile transmission and much more. This is Leonardo da Vinci's famous gear study. This is a predecessor to all of our mass manufacturing processes that we have today. The worm screw is the technology used to tune all stringed instruments. The transformation of circular motion to linear motion, in other words, like the old steam locomotives, just one of the many inventions that has changed our lives. Like, for instance, the helicopter, da Vinci called it the air screw. If he would have had a sustainable power source, like an internal combustion engine or electric motor, this thing could have operated. And your vintage Schwinn coaster bike is much older than you think. Good old Leo designed this over 500 years ago. In the 1400s, is that amazing? What a mind. What a mind. Da Vinci lived in the future, and now that future is ours. Frank Matthey, ABC7 Eyewitness News.